All right, so in this video, uh, I'm gonna be testing a, uh, what is this called again? I forgot what this is called. <clears throat> uh, originally, I thought, you know, to obtain one of these, you would have to pay a ton of money, but uh, I just did a quick Amazon search, and it turns out these are fairly cheap. For some reason, I thought they were gonna be expensive. I only paid like 35, 35, 40 bucks for this. Uh, so this is a power supply, DC power supply. Um, basically, you can use this to output power to a DC electronic. So like a fan here. So this is like a case fan for a PC. And, um, you know, I really wanted to test it out. What do you want? I really wanted to use something like this and, uh, you know, overvolt stuff. And, you know, it, it can be very useful for other things, of course. But honestly, I just wanted to try and overvolt a fan to see how fast I can get it to spin. That's really all I wanted to test. So in this video, I'm just going to do that real quick. And uh, hopefully I can find really good use for this. So let me go ahead and open this. The The brand for this uh, power supply is the NAN CADF. I believe I'm, I think that's correct. The NAN KADF. WPS 3011H model. Uh, so the input voltage is 20, 230 volt, uh, 115 volt, uh, 60, 50, 50 and 60 hertz. Uh, AC input and output is 0 to 30 volts, uh, 0 to 10 amps. So 10 amps is the max amps this can output. Uh, so that's good to know. Um, but uh, 30 volts output is not that high, honestly. Um, I was expecting more like 60 volts, but... You know, I guess for 40 bucks, uh, you can't expect much. So I didn't know that. I just noticed uh, 30 volts is a max we can use here. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the limiter here. Let me just open up this real quick. Take this out the box. Damn, I should have read the voltage on the website. So we got the power cord here. We got the device or power supply here. It looks really cool really professional here uh, maximum 30 volts 10 amps um, I don't know if we're gonna I'm not gonna need more than that but uh, we'll see so this is the power supply here right there so the NAN KADF program programmable DC power supply and uh, we got some scratches on this display Oh well, um, so you can you can use it uh, to charge your device. You got voltage and current uh, dials here. All right, so let's quickly plug this in and just test it out real quick. So it's just got a standard. Uh, I don't know what these are called. PC cables, desktop cable, power cables, three, three three pin outlet cable oh okay that turned on okay so we're on let me turn this off okay now we're off and uh, we got the little alligator the alligator clips here and we got these to connect to the power supply here um, so we're gonna connect red to red and black to black, so positive and negative. Let me open this up a bit. I'm gonna tighten these. And this one, hopefully I don't get a spark. Nope. All right, so that should be it. And if we power this on, Okay, um, we should have power now. Let me turn this off because I don't want to die. But uh, let me show you what I'm going to test for this real quick. Got this fan here. It's a 140 millimeter fan. There's a PC case fan. Super old Antec fan here. Three speed. Uh, don't know how. Well, I guess it can be controlled. Oh, it does have a little remote here what i didn't even know that all right i thought this was like i don't know 
to uh, check or to connect to other fans or something, but that's a new one for me. Screw this into here so that I won't fly away. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I got the fan there and we got the positive and negative cable here. So I just wanna connect the positive to positive here. So it can get connected there, should be fine. And then negative to negative, right so. And uh, theoretically, if I power this on, the fan should power on. Okay. All right. It's not working. Okay, so, okay, so this dial up here, the top one, you can adjust the voltage. So if you click on it, you can go higher. So five, six, you go to the first one, you go 15, that's all right. And then you can go smaller, but uh, okay, so we're at five. How do I get to amps? Oh, this is amps. So you can adjust that the same. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, select. So I think uh, for the power to be output, you have to click on output. Okay, cool. So our fan is spinning right there. Let me see if I can change the speed with this. Okay, so the fan's not going to go any faster because we have a limit on the voltage here. So we're still at the lowest setting on this fan. So I'm going to ramp the voltage up to five let me go higher so let's go 10 volts okay so fan is spinning up let's see if we can get any more speed out of this let me go to the medium speed or you know what let's just just gonna the boom let's switch i'm just gonna switch this to the highest setting and just leave it and we're gonna deal with it with this so I'm gonna increase the voltage. So we're at 11. We go to 12 volts. 12 volts, three amps. Let's go to 13 volts. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going any faster. It's pushing air, but let's see. Okay, we're at 14 volts. Go 15 volts, 14.50 volts. Honestly, I wish Amazon would have canceled my order and told me that I couldn't buy this because uh, I may burn my house down, I don't know. Let's go higher, 15 volts. So, uh, I think the fan is going slower. Oh, we got a red. Here, the max is five volts, five amps. I don't smell any burning. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go up as much as possible and see what happens. So 14, 15, hopefully it does blow up. 16 volts. What does CC mean? Does that mean it's capped? Yeah, I don't think it's happening anymore once I go higher. Okay, let's go back to 12 volts and increase the amps. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Nothing's really crazy is happening. I thought this was gonna, you know, make the fan go extremely fast and, you know, just uh, spin a lot, but not really, I guess. Uh, maybe I can try a different fan. Maybe this one has super advanced technology or something. So let me try a different fan. All right, so I got another fan here. This is a Kingwin. I have no idea where I got this from, but it's rated at 12 volts at 0 0.2 amps. Let's power this on. And, oh, oh, damn, that always scares me. 
All right, let's go down to 12 volts. And then we're at two amps. Yeah, two amps. All right, let's power this on output. Hello? Okay, it's not spinning. Maybe I just connected right? Okay, let me power this on because now I'm scared. Yeah, Amazon should have definitely canceled my order. I'm either going to shock myself, hurt myself, or even potentially pee myself. So, let me try this. Alright, let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, we're spinning. Alright. Alright, so... This is uh, 12 volts, 1 amp, which is below what we can do. So let's incre increase amperage here. Okay, it is moving a lot faster. Let's see how slow we can go. Oh, not enough power. 12 volts, 2 amps. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I thought this was going to start flying on its own with this much... Uh, this much voltage but not really anything is happening damn yeah i'm very disappointed in myself for thinking this was going to be uh, something crazy but i don't know what i'm doing wrong is there something else i should be doing so i had this really old ryobi uh drill here it's an eight volt drill uh it doesn't work anymore uh the batteries on it died it was built in batteries so uh, i had this older just you know sitting around and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if this works. This is an eight volt drill. I think that was what it was. Yeah, eight volts. So we're gonna power this on. Let's see if this works. Oh shoot, okay. Still kind of scary. So it's eight volts. So let's push this to eight volts. Now right, let's do seven. And uh, let's do put output. Let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing too crazy happens here. I have no idea what's going on. It's not working. What is the amps required for this? All right, well, let's see what happens if I increase the amps. All right, so there you go. Uh, electric motor like this uh, really doesn't need a lot of volts but it does need the amps to run it so that's good to know so now we know that it runs at four amps man i don't want to die so <laughs> let me just do a little quick here We're at 10 volts. A volt. All right, so that is scary. So I got to go all the way to 8 volts. So. So that's all for this video. I don't want to burn down my house. I want to do this in a better controlled area than my desk here. Um, and I got to get a fire, fire, blowy thingy, fire extinguisher, uh, just in case uh, this starts a fire. I do want to see how far I can take this little motor. And, uh, you know, it's old. It's not, not using it. I got a ton of other tools. So... You know, this would be a good uh, way to test this power supply here. The program Programmable DC Power Supply by Nan Cadef. Don't even know if I'm saying that right. But 
anyways um yeah i mean i think amazon honestly should have just canceled my order because i don't want to destroy stuff yeah i mean i couldn't do much with the fans maybe because they're really cheap and they're uh the maximum speed is probably like 800 rpm or something so i guess you know that didn't work i do have other fancier fans but i don't want to mess with those these are just really old case fans that came with cases that i bought over the years so and uh if you have any questions just leave a comment and thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one